published in Animal Behavior this last week, I think, um, polar bear foraging on common eider eggs, estimating the energetic consequences of a climate-mediated behavioral shift. Okay, that's that's all I got. Um, the This is just another piece of new research, and um, an eider is a duck. It's a sea duck. Um, and most people will be surprised to hear that polar bears eat duck eggs. I know that I am... <laughs> quite surprised yeah so it seems like it would need to eat a lot of them exactly so um just from the conclusion our results indicate that a small number of polar bears can gain energy in late june and early july by foraging on common eider eggs when marine foraging opportunities are no longer available while our results suggest that some bears can profit energetically from foraging on eggs the overall contribution that bears oh that eider eggs make to an entire population appears small reinforcing the importance of seal hunting on ice to the overall persistence of polar bears. So, you know, the main message here is that as sea ice melts and polar bears can't go out onto it in order to find the breathing holes of the seals, which are their usual diet, um, they have to look to other things. And one of the things they're looking to is duck eggs of all things, which, yes, they'd have to eat a lot. And indeed, optimum, optimal foraging um, theory uh, predicts and they find that early in the season when there are a lot of eggs the bears um, a few bears manage to make a profit a metabolic profit off of the eggs but um, the you know the, the longer the bears are there and the fewer the eggs there are um, the more pointless the effort gets because they spend more resource searching for than the calories would return if they find them so there is some ambiguity here because marine foraging behavior has two meanings right it has the one you described and it also can mean in the case of polar bears uh, foraging on marines which, yes which uh, uh, we don't know them to do at least um in this particular well, place they're very nutritious but they're also somewhat dangerous to hunt and so mm -hmm. uh, it has not been a widespread behavior in polar bears as i understand it marines fight back more than duck eggs do that is almost i i mean you know what do the data say very good question right you'd, you'd have to run an experiment <laughs> of course of course you would <laughs> you might want to do an observational study for that but, yep yeah all right. Well, it's interesting. I, I have long wondered what is going to happen to the polar bears if um, warming continues. Um, well, so I mean, one of the things this proposes, and you know, of course, anyone who's thought deeply about ecology knows this, but that there will be cascading effects, right? That you know, the uh, eider eggs um, or other marine, other other eggs of um, mass nesting birds uh, that happen to live within the range of polar bears uh, are not likely to be able to sustain a functional polar bear population for very long, but um, but the polar bears will eat them until they're gone, which means you'll have those populations crashing as well. Uh, and, you know, having having crashed those populations, the bears will move on to something else until they can't find enough to eat at all and they just they just die. Well, I don't know if you'll remember this. I, I uh, advanced a hypothesis many years ago, which I still believe likely. Um, having advanced it does not mean I believe it is likely. But in this no, case, I advanced it and I believe it is likely, even though others will regard it as reason to dismiss me, which is that I think there is a real chance that polar bears will effectively disappear into brown bears mm. uh, if yeah. the uh, the habitat that they are adapted to is no longer available and that in fact um, there may be a mechanism for such things that would involve um, the collection of adaptive discoveries over in polar bear space by brown bears um, that would manifest as effectively regarding the uh, the exotic looking bear as sexy, you know, <laughs> that uh, the brown bears might find the, um, the polar bear that knows the things about how you deal with the poles when they're, uh, frozen or, or the other way around, in which case now we know one of the gifts that the polar bears who are finding the brown bears sexy would bring duck eggs, duck eggs. Mm -hmm. Yes. As, oh. as a, as a little nuptial gift, <laughs> right. A delicacy. Mm -hmm. Sure. No, it, uh, yeah, it's like, it's actually scale wise. It's like caviar. <laughs> that's right <laughs> excellent um yeah that's that's all i got on polar bears all right well that was great um i'm you know nature is just amazing am i wrong you're not wrong i'm not wrong 